this wavy. This about to be some shit. Like a fastball, you don't wanna be caught up in the mix. I'm lit. I'ma go harder than the bitch. I'ma go harder than the bitch. Fuck off my dick. I do not fuck with this shit. You riding in my dick like a Yes, 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 yes. Never or no, it's yes, it's yes, yes. Ho! Oh, thank you so much for tuning in yet again on another Thursday for your wasted wisdom. We used to do it on Wednesday, it's Thursday now, throwback Thursday with your bitch. It's a girl. Vina, baby, Bunabolis, better than the rest of us. Your Dorito ho, bolder than any fucking purple pack, your blunt slut. I'm here with your friend, man. Thanks for tuning in. I got a so super special, so very fucking legendary guest today. The biggest guest I've ever had for motherfucking Tampa, for my motherfucking city. I swear to God, yeah. I have to introduce my guest. Tampa Tony! What the business is? It's the king of Chuck City! Uh, okay? Oh, he got, oh man, he got, oh he man, he right on time. Listen, 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 man. You don't even know, okay? Keep joking. You looking. They looking. All right, they looking. Uh, I'm gonna keep joking. Uh, he invented the, the blunt splitter. Yeah. He got pardoned by Obama. Obama, what's up? What's up? We miss you, yo. Miss you, but as soon as I get our papers, we gonna smoke one, but Obama. We gonna Obama eat. Shh. Shh. We'll give you some Obama of that president. Shh. Some of that president. That's that that's that secret uh, blunt. Yeah. <laughs> that secret shit. Oh my god, Tampa Tony, thank you so much for coming out yeah. today and yeah. being with us. Yeah. You a whole legend. Appreciate it. Whole legend. Thank you for coming on Wasted Wisdom, what we do every Wasted week. Wisdom. Every week, Wasted Wisdom. I tried to offer him some hand dog. He was like, I do the white. Yeah, I, I do the clears. Hen, like, because you know. It's on your no no list. Yeah, because I've been in the mm-hmm. clubs with Hennessy for a long mm-hmm. time. And, mm-hmm. and, you know, it's like, you know, three baby mamas, four kids. Uh, <laughs> You're going to need some hand dog for that. Couple, uh, you know, a couple was aborted. Uh, some of them say it was mine, but it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's this just been a, a whole lot. It's been a whole lot of issues. This is a real complicated that. math problem right yeah, now. What it, happens it, when you add one temper Tony? With the Hennessy. Three baby mamas, couple of kids, and yeah. a bottle of hand dog. And a bottle of hand dog. Like, what you get? Court. What you get? Problems? <laughs> Problems. Like, it's the problem house. Yeah. So, this the kill the drama. I had to kill the Hennessy. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. that's why I don't, I don't drink Hennessy no more. You feel like Hennessy put a, a battery pack in your back? Yeah, you know Hennessy get like get you cr- transformers. See, back in the days we had a Hennessy, then it, it came with the hypnotic, then we had the Hulk. Yes, you know what I mean. We yes. had the Incredible Hulk, and and it was just you ever you ever fuck with the Thug Passion? Oh yeah, I don't did a th- everything that they had to you, mix you with get, Hennessy. I, I did all that. If I was a bartender, and I, I would be like, man, it's gonna be Incredible Hulk and Thug Passion with this man right here. And listen, and, and it's and if be I was a at a bar that didn't so- serve Hennessy, I'd be like, man, he gonna be mad. He's going to be mad as He's going to be mad when he walk up here and yeah. I say, we ain't have no Hennessy. No Hennessy? Is you serious? No Hennessy? I only started drinking Hennessy at shows, uh, doing stand-up at shows that didn't have Jameson. Oh, man. So I'd be like, all right, give me a little Hennessy. Now, listen, I- I'm going to tell you about Jameson. You got to build up to drink the Hennessy. Jameson, okay, Buckwheat, um, DJ Cool. That's it's like name. all the wild, everybody at Wild 94.1. All they want to do is Did you get the Hennessy. names that he dropped? Super C. All I'm going to do is shots <laughs> and Hennessy. Yep. Man, let's do a shot. Okay, I take one shot. Then you turn around. Hey, somebody else come. Hey, man, let's do a shot. Mm-hmm. Shot of what? Shot of Jameson. Man, come on, man. Oh. I can't keep drinking that shit, okay, man. Okay, so you mixed. See, that Jameson yeah. needs to be on its own all the time. Yeah, you yeah, can't you mix can't. the browns. That's where you get in trouble. Yeah, yeah, I can't. Jameson and Jam- them shots. I don't know about Jamie. Like, I take a couple of them, then you know you got to get your little cup to walk around with. So I'm mixing. I don't oh, yeah, drink the brown, up. so I'm drinking a little. You're fucking up. Yeah, Tito. Tito Y'all Tito, see me I'm with two Tito. cups? Yeah, you're going to see me with three drinks. No, they're going to see me with three drinks. My Red Bull, whatever the fuck. I only do Hennessy in the cup. That's it. Don't okay. ask me how I like it, bitch. In the cup. Just pour it in the cup. That's it. I don't want ice. I don't want to bruise my booze. Yes, got it in the Just cup. Hennessy in the cup. Don't put ice. Don't bruise my booze, bitch. Ooh, 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 don't do that. I don't need no mixer. I'm finna chase it. I'm gonna mix it all in my mouth. Ooh. 
And then I have water. That's what I do. Because no matter what happens later, I blame it on the water. Look, and you know what? If I throw up, I say, hey, I just well, learned I drink that. water? I just learned that. If like, I piss in your bed and you don't believe that I squirted, did I have I mean, too it's much just water? <laughs> did I have too much water? You squirted. I, mean, I, I, will tell the, I will tell that shit so fast. I had a, I had a guy one time. I, I pissed in the bed fully. I remember because it woke me up. Because when you piss laying down, it, it go up your back. It, it wakes up you back. up. Some kind of way it goes up so your back. Warm. I don't know how. It wakes you up. And you have to push through the rest of that pee-pee. Because yeah. your natural reaction is, oh, shit, I'm pissing this bed. But well, Let me stop it. When it's not in your bed, you're like, <laughs> why do I got to stop it? Yeah. I'm never coming here again. <laughs> so I remember you woke up and got on top of me. And he went, ooh, somebody's wet. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember bring back to him we both are and he uh, thought it was a cute sex thing and i was like that's my pee pee um <laughs> the worst part of that was that it wasn't his bed for real like it was oh, on shit. some homie shit oh man like one of the homies let us chill so now the homie was i know the homie was on your line like damn she squirted like that no the homie <laughs> knew it was pee pee <laughs> it's that shit i did not see him clean it so i'm sure he just let the room dry it damn. at room temp so he he came in, he was like, did you fuck a bunch of alley cats or what's the smell? Um, I remember seeing the roommate two weeks later at a bar and he was staring at me. I told and I was you, like, he wanted oh, it. he knows. No, he was he like, knows. man, she a squirt. He like, dude, my homie had her. She's a squirter like hope, a motherfucker. I hope that's what he was saying. <laughs> but I was fully at the bar having a fucking freak out. Like, he knows I pissed his bed. Yeah. So you were thinking the opposite. He was thinking yeah. like, damn, man. Nobody ever called she me out. She a big squirter. No one ever called me out. And I've been on this podcast 17 well, episodes. I've, I've said it. It has changed. <laughs> the game has changed. Has anyone, you, you made bitches squirt and you know it's not pee-pee. Because I, I think it's pee-pee. If I'm if I'm in it and she, and it's coming out, she's squirting to me. Right. I don't give a, You're I'm like, doing. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Yo, I swear <laughs> to God. Cause bitch it don't make fu- no- <laughs> I've been fucking before and I've been like, I- I'll tap out real quick and I'll be like, Yo, I got a pee pee. Yeah, <laughs> you seem like the kind of dude man, that would be like, you man, seem like let that shit man. go. Don't hold exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, you seem like the kind of dude like Tim yeah. Tony be like, that's not pee pee. That's not pee pee. <laughs> that's no pee pee. Relax, mommy. That's not even pee pee. That's let not pee pee, man. Oh, sc- oh, you sc- ooh, ooh. ooh. They get warm too. Let me. <laughs> Tim Tony said, "Watch out, that's just wet." That thing oh, wet, wet. That thing wet, wet. Uh, I love how I looked on your page and I saw that you do um, a motivational Monday. Yeah, which is kind of similar to what we do here at Wasted Wisdom. I'm going to ask you at the end of the show. Yeah, I'll give one now about your wasted wisdoms. It can be wisdom that you learned while you were blackout wasted. Okay. You know, um, things that friends have advice friends have wasted on you mm-hmm. and or advice you've wasted on friends or okay. just advice you constantly give yourself that you don't listen to. Okay. Um, I like to do some wasted wisdoms about when I'm blackout drunk because, you know, what I always say, if you didn't learn something new about yourself, did you even blackout? Come Damn. on, guys. For we real. need to be ever like, evolving. We need to learn from these squirts slash not peepees. And something I learned this week about myself is that I will get blackout drunk and I will sleep eat ice cream, but I will not sleep put that ice cream back. Damn. So which that creates ice cream a giant like, mess. Uh, it's be, bad. Oh, it's bad. I've gotten. You, gotta be glad. you better be glad you don't have ants. I've been, I've, I've been very blessed that I don't have ants, but I did eat butter pecan uh, ice cream while I was sleeping and not put that bitch back. So it was like butter pecan milkshake when you It was up. like butter pecan milk Ugh. shit bucket next to the bed. And then I had you to blame it on. You turned it up. I just, I blamed it on my, I put a straw in it later. <laughs> I put a straw in it when I was thirsty and I was like, that's a milkshake. Um, but in the morning, what it is, is that's getting cussed out by your man. And you cannot convince him that he did that. Um, because there's dried up butter pecan on your mouth, bitch. Uh, and that's not nothing else. Cause he would know. Uh, uh so that's what I learned about myself <laughs> this week. <laughs> that's what I learned about myself this week. Um, it is Thursday, and something I like to do, because you oh. are Tampa Bay Tony, which mm-hmm. is like TBT, right? TBT. Throwback Thursday. Uh-huh. I like to do a throwback um, for this day. Throwback Thursday, sex stuff. Always Uh-oh. sex stuff. 
Okay, Uh-oh. always sex stuff. Um, here's a throwback for me. Throwback Thursday, sex stuff, wasted wisdom. Ladies, if you move to a new neighborhood and um, all the guys want you because you're the new fish. Different, different meaning, not in prison. New fish. Mm-hmm. Same meaning, actually. Forget Same about thing. it. You're getting Absolutely. fucked. New fish. Yeah. And uh, all the guys want to fuck you. Okay? You got some young guys. You got some young guys in your apartment with no furniture. You're in your 20s. It's your first place. You got some young guys. It's not until the young guy you had sex with that was fucking off beat. Fucking all off beat. Damn. It's not until the next day that he shows up in a football uniform that you realize you took a 16 year old's virginity. Oh, Something shit. I did. I'm not proud of it. Don't mistake Damn. the tone. I swear to God, I fucked this guy. It turns out to be a child. Fuck this kid. And I'm in my 20s, so I'm barely a child myself. Who's fucking who? Who's sucking <laughs> whose titties over here? I'm barely a child myself. I fucked this kid, and I remember thinking, he is fucking all offbeat. Like, in a way that suggests this is your first time in pussy. I would assume that, like, the first time that you're a man, you'd be like, (laughs) and that's the style with which he fucked me. And then he showed up the next day to bring me some weed, and he was in a football uniform, and I was like, it's not Halloween. You're sweating. Maybe, maybe it was JV. I mean, uh, it was JV, nigga. I, <laughs> it was junior varsity, and that's he, how I know. He wasn't even a varsity. I took a child's oh. innocence that day, and it wasn't even good. Oh. I feel bad. He don't. <laughs> nah, he, felt, he feels great. <laughs> he feels good. Both. He's he thought we was going to be weed. together. You, he, you smoke, don't you? He thought we was going to be together. I mean, but was he a position player or was he like a lineman? Oh, I don't... I don't even know. You so didn't go to the game to support? Not, it, you know, he played no... I, I was like, I'm not fuck You fucking all off beat. Next time you see me, don't speak. Damn. I can't. I'm a, I'm a... Listen, I was 21 at the time. I'm a whole grown ass lady. Uh, I ain't got the time to be teaching you how to fuck me how I don't even know to be fucked <laughs> at 21. What the fuck am I going to teach him? All I can do is clown him for flailing around. Meanwhile, I'm like, I don't always come, though. <laughs> I'm in my 20s. <laughs> uh, fucking in your 20s is something. Do you have a throwback sex edition for me? Throwback a, Thursday. A throwback sex Anything edition. Anything that you thought was weird or anything that you just thought, like, damn, that was silly that I even did that. Like, something you thought. Like, here's something I thought, throwback, and I've talked to you about this before. I used to think the balls were on top of the dick. Oh, well, God. Damn, what kind of <laughs> you the the alien today. I didn't see a lot of dicks. Oh, okay. So I just thought the ball. So you ain't you didn't go you didn't watch porn? No. Oh shit. No, my mom was gay and I know that and only so, real gay women have sex with the door open so your kids could hear. So um I didn't I thought you sex were supposed to watch you were supposed to watch some porn. Nah nah, I wasn't Damn, that's supposed fucked up. to do that at all. You had a fucked up childhood. Uh yeah. Uh I grew up in a one bedroom <laughs> apartment. <laughs> I grew up in a one bedroom apartment near Lakewood, Monterey Bay, four bitches, one panty drawer is the name of my <laughs> Bio- biopic. Uh, it was toys around there somewhere. <coughs> no, I didn't learn that you could put stuff, anything into your pussy until I was well into my 20s. God, you were sheltered. Very That's much. That's crazy, man. Very much, very much. I was molested at a young age, so I was okay, always like, sorry. sex is bad and my fault. Oh, man. So, do you have a throwback sex edition before I ruin a this? A throwback sex edition. <laughs> With my childhood <laughs> memories? Uh. <laughs> Before one I, I remember. This. One I remember. I remember it was in Daytona. Mm, oh I think shit. it was like the last year of the Black Beach Week in Daytona, where BET was there. Oh, and this I, is this is the new freak Nick. Yeah, and I spent I spent a lot of money because I bought mm. like a. I brought plies, I brought Rick Rose, I brought Trick Daddy. Get it. This yeah. is a VIP pass to pussy. Yeah, yeah, it really is. is so. This is a literal yeah. VIP pass to pussy. Yeah, and, and what's so fucked up was. That um, the club that I rented, the club went in foreclosure after I gave him the deposit. Oh, so I gave him like this twenty is the last bands. Bank. Yeah, there's like twenty. I gave him like twenty bands. Oh, they're going. And then they went in for, foreclosure, and somebody contacted me and told me that uh, the new guy that bought the club let him get the club get that night that weekend. I was like, man, ain't oh, nobody gonna get that weekend no. but me. But anyway, long story short, so uh. I think it was that Saturday. I was a little drunk, wasted, and we was eating. 
you know, closing down the club. Mm -hmm. And we was eating and shit. And um, I met this little chick. And I'm like, we're going to go back to the room. So by the time we go and eat, Mm. before we go back to the room, and it was Denny's. I was about to say, what are we eating? We eating Denny's. Does this bitch eat eggs? Because a a stupid bitch will order eggs. Yeah, so we eating Denny's. And a rookie move. Yeah, and, and, and I'm like, I want Amateur move. If you got a drunk bitch and she sits down and goes, let me get a Western omelet. Order that yeah. bitch a grilled cheese. She cannot, yeah. ha- she don't know what she's doing. She don't know what she's doing. So Amateur move. We ate, I'm talking about we ate good. Yeah. You know? It's so, Denny's. What the fuck you mean? All you need is $23. <laughs> I'm like, so let's go. So she like, let's go back to the room. So I'm like, shit, let's go back to the room. So That's right. So on the way going back to the room. Oh, no. Whatever it was in Dennis oh, no. kind of oh, shook in my stomach. Oh, like, oh, oh so no. I'm like, for you? Yeah. For me. Yeah, the bubbly. Me. Oh, so I'm like, oh, not tea, baby. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. I said, hold up, man. So I'm like, I got to hold this because maybe she in the room by herself. So when we get to the room, it's like three bitches in that bed oh, and two bitches no. in this bed. Oh, no. And they all like, they no. sleep. So I'm like, maybe so she was like, we can get in this bed. without them hearing yeah, so I'm like quiet, quiet like. So look, I, I'm trying to ignore it. So I'm Man, like, your asshole Damn. always tell on you though. So I go in, and it, it's getting bad. This is we bad. rubbing on each other. She getting <gasps> naked, and I'm like, ooh, like, she's crap. having this whole no. experience with you. Wait, this she don't woman. even know this. Wait a minute, exactly. I'm this holding woman. this shit. No, I'm the woman. Right? You're the woman. <laughs> this woman's on the other side, and they're like, yeah, I'm about to make sample Tony. Oh, he gonna get joking and he gonna stay yeah. looking. And you got the bubble guts. She don't even fucking know. She don't know. even know. Listen, I am. Listen, I'm you holding get this shit so bed, bad. You just have to question her whole life. She's like, well, what is wrong with me? I'm sw- I'm holding this shit so bad. It's like I'm sweating. I'm no, sweating. I'm like I know pouring that. down sweat. He so got the he got the lip sweat. Yep. So I got the con- look. I got that's the, the BG's got the, lip sweat. I got the condoms in my pocket, but mm. I tell her, I'm like, damn, I left the condoms in the in the car. So I'm Them thinking, things is rattling. Yeah. She was like, well, what kind of um yeah, so, uh, candies do you have in your yeah. pocket then? So it's I'm clearly like, some damn. plastic in there. So I go out. I make an excuse to go outside. They use the, you know to get the condoms. So I go out there and fart all the way back. <laughs> uh, all the way back. I'm like, okay, I'm you good. Listen, listen, listen. That's what you know you got to have before the morning. That bitch farted all the way to the bathroom, but he ready. All the way back. <laughs> <laughs> all the way there and all the way There's back. There's no endangered man. species in the area, baby. That's somebody's butthole. Man. All the way there and all the way back. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm good now. He said he thought he walked it off. Man, so we all done tried that room, trick. And get naked. How you gonna crop dust an orgy? This listen, shit is not gonna work, bro. This shit was listen. He said he gonna blame it on one of these soon white as bitches. Soon I put my dick in, it's like the shit came. Like soon as you I go in, relax, the bro. shit trying to go out. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. Do you understand how <laughs> See, gravity like, what's works? Wrong? Nothing. <laughs> I said, hold up. Oh no! <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> you was clutching the butt cheeks. Bad. Oh, oh no. Like I, I said, I know these motherfuckers. All these motherfuckers act like they sleep. Oh. <laughs> it's five you. motherfuckers. They three you. in this bed, two in this bed. I know these motherfuckers watch. They I'm like, see your ass. I, I creep to the bathroom. As soon as I sit down, man, shit. Oh, oh, no. I'm like, oh. So I'm like. He's like dumb and dumber <laughs> in there. <laughs> I'm <laughs> coughing and shit. Me? I'm coughing and shit. I'm looking around like, how are these? How are all these motherfuckers in the one room and they don't have. What the little spray, the little body spray? Oh, yeah, the little, yeah, oh, yeah. Hold on, yeah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Kevin Tony dropped some kids off at a pool at an orgy and had the nerves to be mad that these bitches they ain't got the vanilla didn't spice. have a proper Febreze. They ain't got, I'm like, gee, all these He's motherfuckers like, ain't got no perfume or nothing. Y'all, sm- no Victoria speaking. Y'all some, nothing. y'all some rookie hoes. Listen, oh, so I, look, I see got one can, bro. I see one <laughs> can. I'm dead. So when I fucking grab this can, this motherfucker so empty. No, it's ridiculous. you can't even shake. Eggs, look, you can't bro. even shake. Look, <laughs> look. When I when I hit that motherfucker, that big go. <laughs> yeah, that's. Oh, what you didn't hear? You didn't listen hard enough when you heard. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, your asshole. This shit it was crazy as fuck, man. Yeah. Oh man. my god. So See, look, like, I, I, yeah. Did you finish though? Yeah, I, I made it because I, I end up like I, I end up taking a shower. Yeah. I just jumped in the Smart shower. Move. Every Smart woman, move. every woman has been with a man. Oh, Be it man. early morning, late night, after your Philly cheesesteaks that y'all don't fed to each other like this. I don't yeah. care what you do. Every woman has been in the bed with a man that y'all know when y'all fix the covers. Yeah. And we catch someone that win. It's yeah. like, oh, he got a doo-doo. 
<laughs> I can smell that he got to do it. It's, it's like, like bro, we just drank all night. We ate chicken wings. <laughs> I know you gotta do it with your loose ass booty hole. My shit loose too. <laughs> we should do it. <laughs> Get cleaned up. That's one of the. First. No, y'all women terrible. Listen, women is oh, terrible. We're real bad with it. They, y'all, y'all are so terrible. I'll uh, shit uh, in before, your whole house. I don't give a fuck. You go, if oh, you were inside me, you gonna listen to me shit. Oh, let me go right here, right quick. Like, like, what's going? What's up? It's time to fuck now. What's up? But what's the worst thing? Well, see, and you know what? You are real wrong for that. <laughs> <laughs> You're real wrong for that. Because you don't know what's going on with No, but bitch. I understand. So I, I'm like exactly. me. It's you a game like, for me. No, you, you ain't going to the bathroom, motherfucker. Let me tell you what you. No, you better stay your ass right. Let me right. tell you the vibes I'm getting from you. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I made a bitch shit up. Shake yeah, that exactly. shit off. I made Shake that bitch, shit up. I made the bitch shit up. Make a shit up. <laughs> yeah. It's not because I took her on her date <laughs> and she ordered the lasagna. And I told her to finish all of it. Yeah. That's the vibes I get from you. You look like you'll tell yeah. the bitch to eat all her food. Eat all no. of it. <laughs> no, and don't let her go to the bathroom. She come back and my stomach bubbling. You know how you got... <laughs> I done look. I done shit. I done farted or something. I'm trying to fan you that You done got sympathy shit? <laughs> I'm trying to fan that motherfucker. I know she smell that bitch as soon as you come you in. You be like, you know what? We need God a new damn. room. Like, we man, that's you in that bathroom. Room. Oh, man. Ah. You gave... Uh, <laughs> That was a really good throwback. Oh, that was uh, a throwback. That was yeah, a that good was throwback, throwback yeah, right there. That was there. fucked up. You gave your motivational Monday this week was about pressure. Yeah. And I really enjoyed the message. Thank, um, you. Thank you. About pressure. Women, we need to not feel pressured, you know, because too many times we feel pressured. And yeah. I got to speak for my bitches. I got to speak for my ladies, for my hoe dogs and my roll dogs. We got to feel less pressured. Whatever pussy you pull out, he's going to get Pull it out. Just pull it out. Don't feel pressure. It don't matter if it look like most of these motherfuckers eat beef. Starburst with the wrapper on, and I appreciate you for saying that. Because <laughs> <laughs> most bitches, there's, a, there's, a, there's your cute little hot pocket pussy, and then some bitches got the monster truck of pussies. Some bitches got your two plater, and they need to be welcomed. There's nothing wrong with that. Listen, There's nothing wrong with that. Thank you. You're a whole open, grown listen, ass man. Yeah, just move it to the side. Thank just, you. When, you. when you move all the meat to the side, <laughs> it opens up and there's a hole right there. Listen, these and if these bitches That's are it. getting whacked, they're used to helping out. If you need somebody to hold the meat, because listen, this a bitch can get involved. I will hold that. Listen, this is the thing right here. This Should I hold it open? If 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 you got one of those, <laughs> if you got one of those vaginas that's like that. Don't be shy. Yeah. I'm not. Pull that motherfucker open. I that's sure that's all I ask. Just for this. I'd be like, oh, show me said, how to open it. Hey, look, this is how you got to open said, that motherfucker. Open. <laughs> <laughs> I like the two fingers. He said, hey, it's a lot of folks, mommy. I'm intimidated. You I'm trying to me find out what this motherfucker is. What, you touch? what yeah. do I do? I'm not trying to unbraid your string cheese without your permission, bitch. Let me help you. Let me help. Help me help you. Help me help you. Part I'm, this motherfucker sees. Let I'm me in. So dead. Tony, I'm dead. I'm just saying, it's, it's, oh, yeah, I mean. God. You know what was another uh, uh, throwback moment for me was uh, back in my 20s. I just, I, I wrote this down because I, I wanted to talk to, to you about this. Okay. Back in my 20s, well, I shouldn't even say that because it's still the norm. But back in my 20s when I was living in the Bronx, I would mostly go for men that sell me the weed that I was trying to buy because okay. I wanted to do one stop shop. Yeah. You know, you've heard of D and D. I was trying to get dick and drugs. Just okay. Okay. Right I there. That. Same store. Yeah. Boom, boom, baby. So, um, I meet this guy mm-hmm. who's selling me weed. His name is Q. That's all he tells me. I'm Q. already like, yeah, baby daddy. Um, <laughs> I meet him working out on some scaffolding in front of the corner uh, store. I'm buying, I'm buying yeah. Dutch's at, right? Uh. So he's working out in front of the scaffolding. And I'm just like, that's my baby daddy. Like, that's, <laughs> that's him. I know it's him because he has signaled to me. Pssst, and I'm like, damn, let me cross this street. I'm coming. So Did you, hold up, did you put that walk on? You know I put that walk on. Okay. <laughs> you got okay. to. In the walk, <laughs> it's the gate of someone that didn't just get fucked or, you know, it's more so... Walking around their good pussy. Okay. What you want to do is, one of the best pieces of advice I ever got, which was from a drug dealer, act like you got good pussy. You just want to act like you got good <laughs> pussy. Even if you don't, it's some trash pussy. It's some basura bitches out there. Put the pussy in the mind, okay. 
Put the pussy in a mylar bag. <laughs> you stupid. Air trap that toto, and it will be good for six to ten months. <laughs> so this kid, okay, because he's he's young. Um, he comes to my apartment uh, one day, so sweaty. I try not to be distracted, right? He keeps showing up with no shirt on. Like, who doesn't need a shirt? Like, he Gems comes. Exactly. Yo, and I was like, mm, uh. damn. Uh, so he comes <laughs> to the door and he's like, I need to get in right now. And I'm like, get in here, right? And then I'm like, oh my God, you're so sweaty. You're still not wearing a shirt. But your shirt's tucked in your back pocket. Did you need to change to be somebody else on the way here? I don't know. I don't care. You're a criminal. Get in my house. So I don't barely know him. Again, I'm in my 20s. I'm like, hmm, I know the name you gave me. Come into my house. So, and that was my dating style. Like, I don't want you to take me out anywhere because we can't smoke your weed there. So come to my house where we can watch movies and smoke weed. This was before Netflix and Chill. This was DVD uh, and, Dick. DVD and Dick. This was DVD and Dick. You remember DVD and Dick? DVD and Dick. Back when Virgin Music Store was still open yeah. and they would have the fucking bins of fucking DVDs for $2. Uh, you'd pay $2 for the DVD. You'd pay whatever you want for the you dick. Raw, you couldn't find <laughs> uh, them all. So I'm alone with this guy, and I'm super attracted to him. He comes in, and I go, "Yeah, Danny, let's smoke." Um, open that drawer right there. I got all the DVDs that you want. Pick a DVD. Let's smoke. Let's chill. And by let's chill, I mean let's fuck while that DVD plays in the background, so my roommates don't hear. So. Uh, he picks a DVD. I don't even look at what he's picking. I have an array, a variety of things. I'm not proud of all the choices I've made DVD-wise. Okay. He starts to play the DVD, and I'm horrified because I now recognize what it is. It is the movie Kids. Kids? <sighs> you ever seen that movie? He put on Kids? He put on Kids. <laughs> he had a choice between 34 DVDs. And he picked Kids. And he picked Kids. He picked the which apparently has a deluxe version. <laughs> he put the AIDS kids porno on. What the fuck? And here's the thing about the movie Kids. Here's the thing about the movie Kids. You don't need to see it to know it's playing. With the way it opens up. It opens up with like kids fucking. You know what I mean? It's like the kind of movie where where it plays. You're like, who's playing kids? Yeah. Like who's playing kids right now? Like I don't. <laughs> I know. That I know happens. what movie that is. Uh. So he starts playing kids, and if that wasn't horrifying enough, as he passes me the blunt, he looks at me and he goes, I love this movie. I guarantee you, if you put this movie on in a room full of men and bitches, somebody gon' be fucking, and then passes me the blunt. And I'm like, I've like inched myself all the way up into the wall. I'm trying to become <laughs> the wall. <laughs> because the movie just started and the blunt just got lit and I'm just like I don't know let's just make it through the first act I don't know <laughs> <laughs> is your name even Q <laughs> <sighs> so kids the movie I just had to kids the movie kids the movie I had to get into that damn do you are you married what do you, what no do you... I, I used to be you used, used to be. be okay yeah I used to be a wow a long time, long time ago. Yeah. Now you're you're single. Yeah, I'm single. Ready to flamingo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're flamingling. Yeah, I'm jingling. Are you jingling? Jingling, 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 jingling. Are you? Are you? Uh, are you dating anyone in particular at the time? Or are you just no, open? no? I'm just I'm just open. You know what I mean? That's dope. Like, yeah, because I'm, I'm dope. you know I'm trying to re. You got to redo it. Yeah, you know it's eleven years. Oh, that's Without, hard. Yeah. yeah you had you like know, one piece of pussy just, for 11 years. No, yeah, no, one hand for 11 years. Oh, shit. That's a, that's a, that. Shots fired. One hand, 11 years. Shots fired. Yo, you did not fuck him enough. She took her carry, though. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Do you, let me ask you this, sex wise. Mm hmm. Because I feel like the best sex is the weird sex and the comfortable sex. Mm hmm. I think. Personally, yeah, yeah. especially being a monogamous person, someone that comes from long relationships, I think that your sex gets better when you're more comfortable with somebody and when you guys are getting weird. Yeah, yeah, it, it does. You know, you, you got to have somebody that's open, you know, kind of open. That's not like, oh, my, my, my mother and my grandmother, grandmother raised me yeah. to be. Do you such think a the fact lady. that my mom fucked women with the door open so I could hear is gonna let me affect the way that I fuck you? Because only a little bit. <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, <laughs> that shit is like amazing to me. 
I think so. I think that I love to name sex positions, mm-hmm. right? I have a sex position um, that I do in my I'm about to be 34, 33 still on the 30th, 34 in my 30s, where I'm on top that I call hunch, crunch, punch. Hunch, crunch, punch. Yeah, baby, you thirsty? That's when I'm on top uh-huh. and I'm hunching you, but uh-huh. my hips are crunching you. Oh, they're crunching because I'm old and I need help off. So you you get stuck. I get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I am I'm a little fuck pot right on top. <laughs> I get stuck. So hunch, crunch, punch is when I'm hitting them switches oh. and fucking you like all kinds of bitches. But then I come and I'm like, can you just? Tip me over. I'm fucked all out. No. I just need to be tipped over and helped out there. Um, do you... Do you... You know, <laughs> Stop lying. Stop lying. You're such a liar. <laughs> He's never mushed me in the forehead. He's cradled my face all the way down. Uh, <laughs> like a baby. Not a mush. Like a baby. Like a baby. Like a baby. Like a baby. Yeah. I, my favorite position to fuck um, every man, and especially my man in, and don't even fucking lie, is the scissor. The scissors? <laughs> Do you scissor women? No, I you know. Should. You should. No. Why? No, because that's like, that's Why? Like coochie bumping. Nope, it's not. It's a horizontal hunch, and you're missing out. Let me tell you something. The d- You just get in on the side. See, I feel like. This is why, Tampa Tony, you've missed out on a lot of this. Have you ever gotten to a leg fight with a bitch? Because she was probably neck. trying to <laughs> scissor you. <laughs> I, I hate the leg fight. Like, just let this happen, brother. The, you would love a scissor. You haven't scissor, had it. Your scissor. Wait, is his leg on top or your leg's on? I'm wait. not a scissor fan. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a scissor fan. Until. Right, let's, let's and then see. that bitch will request. It blew my mind. I'll be like, it's, it's let official. me get that scissor. You know what? I feel like it's intimidating because I'm calling it scissor. Because, listen... It feels you, gay because I'm calling it scissors. Listen, when it's you say dicey. scissors... This Call it the crochet. Thinking. I'm thinking two women like, right. grinding coochies. But can we not agree that two women grinding coochies is a mere brush of what could really be happening? Have you ever seen two women grinding coochies with a double dong? Because then, hello, you got that. You could be scissoring these whores. I'm just saying. I mean, I, I Tampa Tony, you can find your next wife... If you dump dick from listen, the side, I don't listen. It's like, <laughs> you want to dump side. dick from the a from horizontal the side. I, I, dick I don't dumping? Have no pro- I don't have no problem with that. Like, scam likely? Is it really a scam likely, or did you save no, the no, bitch no, like no, that? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. You know, sometimes you gotta you know, be like listen. scam likely. I don't need my ex fucking this new shit up. Yeah, no, but I don't have no problem trying that. If if somebody bring it to the table, then I, you know. I I, I try it. Once Is there anything like, like so weird that a woman has asked you to do that you're like, nah, ho, leave? You know what? Hold. Never mind. No, I, I mean, <laughs> I'm good actually. I didn't know you wanted that. That's not what I do here. Uh, I had one freak, you know, ask me, "Can I put my freak? man?" Nah, listen. <laughs> right. hey, listen. And I don't want no man that let me do that. And I don't want no man the that let me do over. that. Listen, yeah, game over. Listen, game over. Game over. You know, I don't because I because I can't <laughs> trust you now. <laughs> you cannot I can't trust, trust a bitch like that. Look, because no. if you put your hand on my back, the first thing. I'm Right, and now I slapped you, and yeah. now I'm wrong See, for that. Now I'm wrong for that. When you assaulted me, Thank but you. By two saying weeks that, ago, by saying that, don't right. know. I don't. You were know. triggered, sir. Yeah. That's called yeah. a trigger. You got to learn the phrases. Yeah. You got to learn terminology. Yeah. And I got PTSD triggered. too. Yeah, I and get, you got yeah. PTSD, yeah. and you didn't mean to slap all her teeth out her mouth. I ain't mean to slap her that many times. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I lost count. I lost count. Came towards your booty hole. I lost count. You lost count. You lost count. You lost count. Now you need to you need to hit him with that horizontal yeah. hunch. Okay, I'm, you'll like scissors. that. So I it's get, like, yeah, it's, it's like, like literally it's like don't that. overthink. So this. y'all y'all just oh like, my god, it's so good. Yeah, it's all grab behind the knee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't get upset. And, and grab the leg, grab leg and pull pull There's with the leg. There's an opportunity there for her to put her leg on your shoulder, and then either one of you, whoever's so y'all less, just doing like yeah, keep, it's hey, like a snake. You know what that's called? No, no, I got the new name. I got the new name. I got the new name. You know what it's called? You're going to feel better about this. You're going to want to do it. You ready? What is it? An entanglement. Ooh, oh, I like that. That's way better. Scissor, baby. So you're in an entanglement. I was entangled. Because you're going to only slide. Oh, slide, uh, baby. One slip and slide record. Okay, okay, okay. It's really good. The entanglement scissor. It's really, <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Um, what did you post today that I was looking at? I made a I made a post that I do want to talk about. 
because um, mm-hmm. you mentioned uh, someone trying to put their thumb in your ass or a finger in your ass or yeah, something. I don't know You're which like, one that's it was, a no I, go I, I zone. It's a no go zone. No go zone. No. Um, I posted this post today where it's like, uh, let me make sure that I read it right. Hold on. Because I hate when you're fucking with somebody new and the exes want to come around. That's how it goes. That's when and it be it, Yeah, right. Because all of a sudden they like pork chops. Even though I found this pork chop in the trash, bitch. But now you like pork chops. <laughs> That's fucking convenient. Um, I was arguing with this ex of his. And, uh, you know, she was saying like, I have my whole body in his mouth. And I'm like, yeah, we're adults. Uh, and so I posted this thing today that said he's texting you back with the same thumb that was in my butt. <laughs> uh, I just my caption was he's mine. You may have yeah, had him once, but I got him all the time. You're not catching the reference. It's because your ass was too young to begin with. Big facts. Bloop. I don't play with kids. How I whoop them. Um, Damn. Damn. <laughs> no rapping. No capping. Uh, you can't sleep at night. I, uh, <laughs> if you don't remember, he's mine from Moke and Stuff. Kill yourself. Mo um, stuff. that was Damn, a, that a was so serious yeah, throwback, that? one hit wonder Throw bop. Back. That was like a bop uppercut. It was so good. Cross. Oh, it was so good. But I, don't you hate that when someone tries to come to you or even like, come around you and just be like yeah and that's why he ate my ass and you're like yeah and yeah i, I mean new mouth new pussy new him i mean i'm on a new one now yeah like yeah, it's, 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 we're adults i assumed he licked you from up and down bitch i mean unless you trash yeah. like i assumed if he didn't man i mean are problem. you trash you know it back in the days it used to be a thing where you know women are trying to come out and kind of expose you like, right yeah Oh yeah, you with that motherfucker? Yeah, I remember you. You was eating my pussy. You weren't saying that when you was eating my pussy. Right, oh, okay. right. Yeah. And it's like when I was pleasing you sexually, when no, I no, took you, you to cloud nine. No, you just tell him, look, I'm even better now. <laughs> exactly. I hate when. Uh, <laughs> this is the thing, though, and this is why. For a long, long time, I've talked about this before. I did not suck dick. After my twenties, I left it. When what? I got to my thirties, I stopped sucking dick. Oh boy, my teeth are too big. I don't. So you was, I don't love you so enough. You was, you was off the market. <laughs> I was that. I can. I put dick sucking for people I love. You was. I'm not going to suck my dad's dick. So uh, you, was off, you was off the market. I was. I was on the market. I just wasn't a hot catch. <laughs> I was not trying to suck your dick because I felt like it was very um, disrespectful in that way. Like somebody breaks up with you, and they're like, ah, that's why I sucked you. That's why you sucked my dick, anyways. I fucked her face. Whatever. So with my ex, my last ex, I was like, "Ah, uh-huh, that's why I didn't suck your dick," and he's very upset about it. Um, yeah, I, I but I feel like sucking dick is a young girl's game. Huh? It, it is for me. It was I did it what in you my young sit? age. You it's a wife game. Oh, sit? No, it is a wife game. So then it would be for your one husband. I don't be out here looking for good husbands. comeback. I don't you be out here looking there. for husbands. I don't be having gentlemen. dicks in my mouth. <laughs> Sorry, gentlemen. So. In my twenties, so I would suck dick. I would suck dick with different reason. I mean, I disagree, but okay. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! Get out of here! 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 In my twenties, I felt like my drive to suck dick was different. It was for bragging rights. It was for financial reasons. I wanted my phone on. Um, in my thirties, I suck dick for sentimental reasons. If I see my man helping my grandfather to the bathroom, <laughs> he's like, "Come here!" Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm gonna suck the skin off that dick later. That is so sweet. <laughs> the other day, we were making dinner, and I was so hungry, and I was sitting there, and I was like, "I am so fucking ma'am ass hungry. I wish I had an appetizer." But this is a house, and that's crazy to think. And then my man walked in with a fish cake, not mine, one he made. And it was delicious. And right then and there, with his children near me. You knew. I knew. <laughs> as soon as they go to sleep. It's on the pop. Oh, I'm going to suck the mixed greens off your dick, daddy. Did you lay this fish cake atop mixed greens? <laughs> with a light drizzle of a dressing? Is that a lime wedge? 
I'm going to suck your dick. He don't even know. He don't even know. He don't even know. He don't even know. Where that come from? But men Those are the best, though. Men don't eat pussy for, like, sentimental. You eat pussy to show out. Y'all be showing out. No, I, it's sentimental. It's sentimental. <laughs> yeah. You're like, man, shorty, thank you for going to church with me. When I get you home, <laughs> I seen how you was praising. Girl, and I seen yeah. your eyes closed. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's got to be something, you know. <laughs> Sentimental, uh, uh, mad, when you're mad at them, all type of shit, you know? All type of shit. Yeah, you just you gotta, gotta make up reasons. That, you know, <laughs> pretty up. much. Yeah, yeah. when you wait while you sleep. Oh, you over there snoring, motherfucker? Oh, okay. You know that turned me on? <laughs> I swear. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> when I want that, I will, I, before I go to sleep, I'll be like, I make sure you wake me up with some day. And women are always classic for this. We. That's why we always pretend to be sleeping. There you like, go. bitches don't no, want to be raped, school. but also they want yeah, to be Yeah, they do. They put that little boop. Keep boop. scooting your ass. Toot that like, booty. Toot, toot, boop, boop. I'm like, oh, I can't sleep. Okay, well, shit. Yeah. Go and take a sleeping pill. <laughs> <laughs> you got the sleeping pill, bro. She's trying to. Go and take your sleeping pill. And, and keep. It's, you don't feel it's hot in here. <laughs> yeah, for real. I know it's hot. Get your toy out of the motherfucking drawer, man. She's Have trying to. Put the AC down. Set yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You said it was hot. What do you want me to do? What you want me to do? Drink some cold water. Seems like you're ready. Um. Okay, we talked about you scissoring. Let's get into. uh, Otherwise, we'll just keep talking about sex, which we are going to get back to because it's a throwback, and I'm feeling very sexual today. Uh oh. Um, Somebody in trouble tonight. Let's do. uh, (laughs) You're in trouble, trouble. (laughs) Um, You might want to hit some stretches, babe. Uh, We'll go into. Oh yeah, this week's good. Serge, you know it. I'm going to need a few from you. You ready, Daddy? Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. This weed's good. Oh, yeah. This weed's good. I thought the air freshener was trying to holler. Psh. Mm. Oh, yeah. This weed's good. I'm going to get KFC and Taco Bell at this KFC Taco Bell combo. Damn. Oh, yeah. This weed's good. I just realized I've been thinking about my dad's dick. <laughs> what? What? You That's actually Zads, Zads. No, my dad. I accidentally dad? thought about my dad's dick today, and I didn't mean to. I was looking at my man's dick, and then I was like, "Damn, what was the first dick I ever saw?" And I was like, "It was my dad. My dad's dick it was the first dick." So this is like the rabbit hole of my. You know, like when you're like a dude and you're like, what are you thinking about? And she's like, nothing. That's, <laughs> that, that's exactly yeah, that's what, what I'm thinking about. Nothing. Not my dad's dick. Get out of my head. So I was sitting there. I was looking at his dick. Oh, well, he was getting out of the shower. And I remember that's the first dick I ever saw was my dad's dick in the shower. Damn. And I walked in and I looked at it. And he was like, get out of here. But I kept looking at it. And then he was like, I fucking mean it. Get out of here. And then I left. And then I just remember like. Thinking that it looked like a troll's dick. Because we had this little troll statue. That had a dick on it? <laughs> that, had <laughs> that had a dick. That had a dick on it? And I was like, daddy, looks like, daddy looks like that troll's dick. And then immediately after she told me the story, I was standing back. Yes. Her and then. <laughs> get the fuck out. <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. This, ain't this, this not a troll. He's <laughs> like, what are you thinking about? I'm like, nothing. Um. Like, tell me for real. And then he will never ask me that again now. He will never be like, tell me for real what you're thinking. Um, but then I, we, we started talking about it, and I was like, "So the first pussy, like the first pussy you ever see, is your mom's not like coming out of it, but mm-hmm. like in general, right?" No, your mom didn't like walk around the house naked. Hell no! Really? No. no. Okay. No. So I got it. This this weed is good. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. I got into a whole nother thing. Yeah, Let's yeah. get back this on that. This weed is good. <laughs> sorry. We started one. talking about my dad's dick. <laughs> <This weed, laughs> that's one right there. You know this what? weed is good. I'm talking you know about what? my dad's dick. That's on me, baby. That was on me. Papi lindo chuleta. This Yo. weed is so good. Fuck. This car is keyless start. <laughs> you do be doing Can't that. Can't find my keys. You do be doing Where's my that keys? all the time. I did that shit all you the time. You do be doing that. Okay, I got one more and then search. Okay. I forgot mine already. Here's mine. Oh, yeah, this weed's good. When are we going to stop turning? Oh, yeah, I need to sit up. I forgot mine. This weed is good. Are you kidding me? I forgot mine. (laughs) (laughs) It's facts, though. (laughs) Now, what was it? I'm not going to hold up the show with mine. I'll I'll say it randomly. You got one? I'll say it randomly. All right. uh, This weed is so good. Damn, where the fuck I put my glasses at? Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) I did that shit. They on my face. (laughs) 
Oh, yeah. This week's good. I called my phone from my phone because I thought I lost my phone. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. This weed is so good, I put my phone down in Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, real insert real thing that happened. I love when someone's looking for their phone in public. Because they'll hit a casual run that still has the face of urgency. <laughs> like, it's a casual... Because you don't want to look like the asshole running. So you hit a casual gallop, but you still have the... <gasps> Where the fuck is my phone? <sighs> my life! My, God, <laughs> my life! All my drug deals! <laughs> They're going to get... Bina's tit pics from when she was on her period and her shit was looking so luscious. Her hairy butt crack pictures. I love her either way. That's what I was worried about. I was like, they're going to get that. Thank God for Apple. And that taco crack. Apple watches. <laughs> Thank God for Apple watches so he could find his own phone. Um, <laughs> before we get back into sex, because I just, I got my mind on it. Boy, somebody. You're from you. Tampa. Right? Mm-hmm. Right. Um, I was born and raised in St. Pete. Um, I left here in 2006 to move to New York. I moved back like three years ago. Something that I took to New York that people would always be like, what is she? What does that mean? Was like... Bitch. Yeah, like our St. Pete, Tampa-like <laughs> shit that we say. Yeah. So I have a few, excuse me, a few Tampa things, St. Pete things, Florida shit. That I say. It's probably that what it's called. Florida shit. Florida, Florida shit, shit. Florida shit. That I say. Florida shit. That people are always like, what the fuck? Even you have said, he's always <laughs> correcting me when I'm like, I'm finna do this. Or if I'm feeling real professional, I'll be like, I'm fin to. Fin to. Fin to. <laughs> I'm fin to. I'm fin to. I'm fitting to. <laughs> but fin to, finna. Finna, finna to. Fin to. Fin to. We, we oh, say that. I'm finna take a bike. Take a bike. Bike. That's right. I'm finna bike. take a bike. Bike. You take somebody's bike? No, bike? No, 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 <laughs> no. You know what my well, favorite? You if know we what? say we're going to take the bike bike, then that means we take the bike bike. We're going to take the bike bike. You know my favorite Florida? My favorite Florida, uh, we call them Florida-isms, is Florida-isms. puss-ass hoe. Puss-ass hoe. Oh, I love that one. No, I love puss-ass, puss-ass hoe. No, I absolutely no, love no. that one. No, he said it wrong. It's incomplete. Puss-ass it's, hoe. It's dry pussy-ass hoe. Yeah. Oh, it could be. Dry pussy-ass hoe? It could be. Well, pussy. Well, puss-ass hoe is if you refer to a dude. Hey, you puss ass hoe. And he could still be a dry puss asshole. He could be. Yeah. He could still be a dry flaw. <laughs> flaw? He flaw. Yeah, he oh, flaw. He flaw. flaw. Flaw is one. He flaw. You do not want to be flaw. My uh, favorite Florida one is I'm fucked up about you. That means I love you. Yeah. Apparently. I'm fucked up about you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, <laughs> you got me fucked up. I didn't have. I'm fucked up about you. I'm fucked up about you. It's the most violent. It's the most violent, threatening way to let someone know that you care about them yeah. as a man. Yeah, like, I'm man, Sean. And you know, you got to do it like this. When you say I'm fucked up about you, you got to do it like this. You got to be like. Make that hoe nervous. You might could hit the <laughs> You might could hit the bitch. Make that hoe nervous because you shot, fucked up on shotty. Man, shot, don't fuck up about you. Man, shot, I'm fucked up about you. Uh, ducked off. Yeah. Which is where I be hunching. Duck hunching off. is another one. Listen, I'm going to tell you a word that was <clears throat> was so crazy because, you see, in federal prison, you know, you got all the states in the United States. So they mixed. When we in Florida, you know, us Florida guys, we use bitch mm-hmm. or bit. Bit for so everybody. Bit. <clears throat> bitch, come, man, bitch, come here. So the dude, like, bro, don't call me no bitch. And like, you're like, I totally did it. No, listen, man, that's that's Florida slang. Oh, we were just like, look, like, man, I don't care, Florida slang, whatever it is. We, well, we from, we from, we from Maryland. We don't call each other bitch. We from New York. We don't call each other bitch, man. Don't call me no bitch. All right, bitch. <laughs> bitch. That's just bitch. what a Florida boy would do, boy. He'd be like, all right, bitch. Whatever. All right, bitch. Whatever. I'll let all you right, ass know. Somebody on live said, don't forget about Jit. Jit, yeah. Jit's another one. Yeah, oh, yeah Jit. Shout out to Slap. Yeah. These little Jits. This Jit crazy. Man, that little Jit tried to call me, tell me she had her whole body in my man's mouth like I give a fuck, ho. Damn, Jit. I like Tom Bop. Tom Bop. Tom Bop. Know what y'all talking about? I like my favorite thing I ever heard was from a good friend of mine. He went into the club. The club was packed. He was like, "I hate when the club's back packed and you bring a bitch with you, and all of a sudden the bitch want to kiss on you." In the packed ass club, then he turned to the bitch. She's like, "Give me a kiss." He's like, "Uh, no, bitch. This club's on swole, swole. right now. <laughs> it is swole right now. It's on swole. <laughs> you will not be getting a kiss from me, bitch. I ain't claiming oh, you. I might could date one of these bitches in here. Hell no, bitch." 
Hell no, bitch. <laughs> Man, this bitch is out here letting bitches pour Hennessy down their pussy crack. I am not finna kiss you in this yeah, small ass no, club. Man. That's like shit you only hear in Tampa. Like, yeah. man, they out here letting bitches pull Hennessy down their pussy crack. Right. Yeah. Shit you only hear in Florida. I'm putting beans in their asshole. Putting beans in their asshole because they dissolve faster. Yeah. Bitches know <laughs> how to get <laughs> fucked up. Down here in Florida. Said, I, was, I was bartending once, and I had yeah, a... I learned that here in Florida. Yeah, me I too. Tell you, it's, a Florida, <laughs> it's a Florida thing. It's I was Florida bartending thing. in Florida, and the bitches came and sat at the bar, and it was a... um. Uh, bachelorette party early in the day mm -hmm. and these bitches were drunk as fuck and this one bitch who reminded me a lot of myself <laughs> in the group you know not married no kids looking for a reason to drink on a fucking Wednesday and uh, she comes up and they're like oh my god you took so long in the bathroom and she's like I was putting the ecstasy in my butthole it works faster <laughs> and I was like yes see my first my first experience was like 2000 and three mm. and i was in miami at a strip club i was at, at diamonds and um and the chick was like you don't got no beans i was like nah she was you like, were like i'm I not need fucking goya <laughs> she's like i need some beans i'm like well, let me go holler at my jit so i, I go that jit i go holler at my jit jit say me i got a couple and he give me five of them i come back and i try to put them in the hand she's like no nah. So she, you know, she's stripping. She's stripping. Oh, so, my God. She's, like, showing you how she's going to, oh, my God. So she bent over. She was like, put one in my ass. She oh. wanted you to put it. And I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I was it like, was damn, what am I supposed to do? She was like, that's going to dissolve. She was like, fast. you'll I'm see. Get it. She said, bitch, you'll see. No, first I was like, this is. She was like, no, put it in there. I said, she said motherfucker, get in there. She was like, so, so put another one. I want that bitch to. <laughs> what? <laughs> she put two? The second one, I definitely, <laughs> bloop. <laughs> Yo. Oh. And she went and got a friend. Oh, hell like, no. She went and got a friend. She like, yeah, he got bean right here, huh? Get, put give her one. And she turned her, turned her ass around. <laughs> she knew and exactly spread it wide open. It. I say, bloop. I said, well, damn, this here, here is. I went back to Jit. Jit, you ain't got no more? Man, I'm gonna feed the Get girl. Everybody like, bought It's like, B, you just bought it all. <laughs> Shit, what the fuck else you want? Ah. He said, I have some actual bees you can shove in the asshole. Tell him it was a bee. <laughs> 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 That's some shit I would do. I'll go to the club with a can of So boys. listen, since they, they, this is what just came to me. You know, I have weird tell thoughts me, too. To so if the bean dissolves in their ass and mm -hmm. they get higher quicker. Mm -hmm. So women, when you have a headache, won't you just take the aspirin and <laughs> put it in your ass? <laughs> Straight up. I'm not opposed to a rapid release. I'm just saying. I'm not opposed to a rapid release in my ass. If I'm just would, saying. If that shit would help a rapid release be more rapida, I would love it. I'm saying like, if you got a real killer headache, just pop a, a Tylenol in your ass. See, and you see somebody like you is dangerous because <laughs> you low key a doctor now, bro. Like you <laughs> performed a minimally Call invasive me. surgery <laughs> in the strip club. You low key a doctor. So if a bitch want to come to your house with the cap in, like, I have a migraine. You're like, fuck out of here. No. Not no more. I'd be like, turn around. Come Not on, no bitch. more. Spread them. <laughs> Spread Let em. me give you this medicine. She's got Bloop. the gloves. <laughs> Bloop. Let me give you this medicine, bitch. Okay. We got to talk about, I was just thinking about this because uh -oh. I lived in New York for a while, right? And you've mm -hmm. been through a long-term relationship, so I'm sure you've been through. No. Uh -uh. 11 years. No, eleven years in prison. Oh, my hand oh, was the relationship. There you go. I see. Yeah, we well, need to talk about that actually. So yeah, fuck what I'm talking about. You were pardoned what year? I was pardoned in 2016. 2016. Yeah. That's huge because that was not too yeah. much long ago. Question. That was yeah. not. Did you know that was coming, or was it like surprise? And one day just like yo, it, it was. I, I had son. Fuck out of here. I sent it in, <laughs> and I, I didn't know. Like I had. So I didn't know it was coming. Tampa, I didn't know it Tampa was coming. Tony had a, he was given a life sentence. A life sentence, yeah. Uh, for, life and uh, 10 years life probation. Life and 10 years crazy. probation How for a 2006 was, drug charge. And come back and, come back and then they'll give you probation. Something that was that not, uh, did not deem a life sentence. Mm -hmm. Much like, and again, you were somebody that was pardoned, and I know that you can feel for a lot of people that don't have that same blessing. Yeah, And yeah. aren't able to do it. There were a lot. Listen, I left, a, I left a lot of guys in prison that I know deserved it as well. You yep. know what I mean? So it was like, um, Just a lottery. <clears throat> you know, they still, they still hit me up and, you know, I send, you know what I mean? Do whatever I can for them and shit like that. But, uh, 
It's You're a lot from of guys. That, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I was there. Books, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I feel that. I feel it. So you didn't know it was coming. Nah. How does it feel? Because I, I feel like when that's like a nothing left. Yeah, type it was of like statement a, to you. Like yeah. you know what? We don't care what you feel or what you do with the rest of your life. Just know it belongs to us. Yeah. We're gonna end it when we feel like. Mm-hmm. That. In it, in and of itself, must be the most crushing thing. Yeah. So when you hear something like a pardon from your president, mm-hmm. the first black president ever, do you feel a little bit like that's eh, not gonna happen? Yeah. Did you feel a little bit like it's too good to be true? Yeah. You know, it's like you got so many people in prison that that filed for it, and you filed for of, it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like out of, you know. Two hundred thousand people. You get. Did you think at all you were gonna get it? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think I was gonna get it. Not at all. Yeah, I didn't. Not even with your status. Yeah, because it was at it was. What happened? It was at the end, and I caught it at the end, and I only had like, like two days to get it in. It sounds like you felt like. Did you feel like you weren't as deserving as everyone else? No, because um, I had a prior that I had, and I fought the prior, and like right before I got the clemency, maybe like two months before I got the clemency. They had took the life sentence off me, oh. so it took me down to twenty. Oh, so you okay. already took him down? Yeah, I, on your I, I, own accord. Yeah. But that's good to know yeah. because on your own accord, it's not yeah. like they took you from life. Yeah. You weren't you weren't a lifer when they helped you. Yeah, yeah. You, on your own accord, you yeah. had already done the work. Yeah, you had already not, did the work. It was not a lay down. Nah, you had already done the work. Yeah, and I had been fighting it for like. And you was not going to stop 10 fighting. Years. Yeah, I had been fighting it for like ten years, and they finally conceded. And when I went back to the feds. My prosecutor was so nasty because mm-hmm. I wouldn't tell. You know what I mean? So, out to the <clears throat> out. so she felt like, well, I'm not going to bring you back because if they bring me back to court you know, for the prior, no, yeah. no, if they bring me back to court for the prior and resentence me, I go home. I go straight home. So she wanted to be nasty. She was like, no, I'm not bringing you back to court. I'm just going to change your change oh. sentence. Oh. I'm just changing the 20 That's years. That's what Meek Mill's uh, judge got in <clears throat> trouble for, yeah. for getting involved and doing yeah. shit like that because you're not yeah. supposed to have any personal emotion tied yeah. to it. You're supposed to do your fucking job. Just do your job. That's it. Just do your That's job. That's all they're supposed to do. Yeah. And my, my lawyer went, I'm talking about, I had a uh, shout out to, uh, damn, I forgot his name again. Um, but he went extra hard. Talking Good. to her balls, trying to get on her balls. And, and Tony, you know on God that's God. Yeah, yeah. You know on God that's yeah. God. Of course. Of course. So Riding it's me. like... Uh, you didn't belong there. He couldn't even get to her. Like, she was supposed to... They were supposed to have a meeting that Friday. And that Thursday, she went in and changed my sentence. Mm. Oh, them, yeah. yeah. Just being nasty. So I was like, fuck, because I, I had turned the clemency down. Because I had that coming, right? Because that's you what, what you've been advised to do, and yeah, you know yeah. the steps. So I'm to like, go. I'm like, like, look. So I tell the clemency attorney, I'm like, listen, I got this. So when they bring me back to court, they're gonna re- release me. So she was like, okay, well, if they don't get in contact with me, so I was like, yeah, because it's other guys in here need to file the clemency, and I, I, I rather for you to help them because I got wow. some coming. Wow! So wow! When they did so that, you, I was that's crushed. What I'm feeling like even what you're telling me, like yeah. You was already on your way to work and do what you have to do. Yeah. However, God saw Yeah. that, and this is what I say, and this is another waste of wisdom, even on myself that I say all the time. The universe does not reward nothingness. If you don't yeah. move, you don't move. If you don't move, I have to say it again. If you don't move, you don't, don't move. move. No, you don't. That's really big. That's yeah. a really big piece of wasted wisdom in there. Yeah. That is... You, not knowing the outcome of your situation, not knowing who could help you, yeah, continuing to forge ahead after being handed mm-hmm. a death sentence. A death sentence, exactly. Most people will lay down. Yeah, you're not a lay down at, in any sense of the of the word. That's why I always say it's a joke, but I I be very serious about it. On God, that's God. Yeah, God's hilarious. God is a comedian. Yeah. God's also somebody that, and I know that you know it just in your industry, like when you do things, you see the next step go in front of you. Yeah. Even if you're putting your foot out and you don't know where you're going to step, God puts that step there. Ain't no question. Because you're on your track. Yeah. You have a good, a great message, a lot of great messages to share mm-hmm. with the people. And people can learn from you. And you know 
about the people that are still stuck. Yeah. And how to help them. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people are fucked up in 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 prison right now for no reason. Yeah. This a listen, man. This a it's a a, ton a lot of, of people. Guys. My cousin just got out, and he was able to escape the shit. Yeah. It's and a he's lot still of guys. young, twenty eight, able to get back in it. You know, it's a it's a lot. It's a lot. Listen, it's a lot. Listen, it's a it's. Um, but past that, I mean, when are you going to be able to smoke a joint with listen, Barack Obama? I, they, listen, I'm trying to smoke with Obama. Did you get like, to meet him? No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. But soon. I mean, the part is enough. We're not. Do you have a, like a, a connection to be able to set something up? Well, I got some people that that's that was like, man, when you ready, like we can we can do that. But I'm, you know, I'm like. Let me yeah. mm-hmm. let me shake and move a little bit mm-hmm. so it'll be like I can make it big. You can you know come what I mean? to him. Yeah, I can make show, it huge. I feel where you're coming from. Yeah. You can come to him and show him what he did for Yeah, you. like, look, this is what I, I well, since I've been out, this is where I'm at now. You know what I mean? I feel where you're coming yeah. from. Yeah. You know, you're already a legend in Tampa. Mm-hmm. You're already a legend. Like when I was like, oh, my God, we're going to get Tampa Tony. Keep joking. Hey, look. I was like, oh, my God, are you fucking kidding me? Full legend. Yeah. Full, like, there's nothing more Tampa than that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, what do you have to say to, because as far as myself goes from this city, there's only one other guy that I know that's making noise from this city. What do you have to say to anybody that's from this city? Like, I was telling you, my, my cousin who just got out of the pen, um, he did, what did he do? Eight years? Six years? Something like that? For some robbery shit? Whatever. He got his street cred on God the Scott. Um, what do you say to young artists coming out of our city that mm-hmm. want to represent us? What advice do you have for them? I tell them don't get caught up on the hype. Like, yes, if if you have a certain style of music and this is what you want to run with, do you? Do you? Don't get caught up in oh I don't want to be with that jug city shit or I don't want to do this all them dancing because or even that's if you a, hate that use if you it hate to that advantage, use it to your yeah. advantage you, like. This is what I tell I tell young artists. I tell them, I say, look, you don't have to like the juke music. You can just do some gangster shit over a juke beat. Right. Use your... this, And this is what I... I love that you said that because it's fully an embodiment of what I always tell people, which is use obstacles for an opportunity. Yeah. And your obstacle, the thing standing in front of you, can be turned into an opportunity mm-hmm. for you to thrive. Yeah. Use yeah. the obstacle. Use the obstacle. Use your anger. Use your sadness. Yeah. Use anything to make you go to the next level. That's yeah. really good. Yeah. And, that's and that's, really that's, what I, that's what I tell him. You know, I, um, shout out to Road Boy. He got signed with uh, with uh, Gucci Man, 1017. Shout out shout to, to Buck Salsa. He got signed to 300 Entertainment. Like, it's... It's it's a lot. What of is uh, the other artist that shouted you out that was fully inspired by you? Is it uh, Low Key? Low, Low Key, yeah. Low Key, yeah. Yeah, Low Key. Yeah. Shout out, very Low inspired Key. by you. Tom G, um, City Boy, Chris Style. City Boy, who I did a dance for City Boy uh, mm-hmm. in my high school <laughs> talent <laughs> show <laughs> that we won, bitch. Yeah. Oh, City Boy, what it? City Boy, what it? We had a big fight. About the city boy dance, oh, uh, me and a bunch of black bitches all fought about. Somebody was like, "It's like the Kang Wang." I was like, "It's not the Kang Wang. Stop doing that. It is not <laughs> the Kang Wang. That's not the city boy." Yeah. Um, but you know, you inspired mm-hmm. so many Tampa Bay, you know, sounds. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a really great piece of advice. It's good. Like, like one one thing that I can say when I got out and seen the talent. Once I start researching, because that's what I'm saying. You were away, yeah, and you get out, right? Yeah, and now you're like, whoa, what the fuck? The sound has changed. Everything's changed. You got to adjust to it. Yeah, like you got to adjust to it. But I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to see so many different flavors coming out of Tampa. I love that. You know what I mean? So I love collaborations. Yeah, I love mix. So I'm, 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 I'm so happy about that. Yeah, yeah, and it's good. What it yeah. is, is it's good. Mm-hmm. You know, that's something that I love about my city is that anything that came out of here, I was proud of. Yeah. I always loved it. I especially love anything that came with a dance. Yeah. It's even, like a even, show bitch is what I was talking about. Even Kaya Lil Stank Pussy. I know we don't like Kaya. <laughs> even Kaya but, Lil Stank Pussy. But. Now, I, real quick, how did you feel when she when she went at, uh, 
How, why I don't know all the beef. I seen some beef on your page, and I was like, "Damn, this is like a lot of beef." I gotta go. Yeah, you know, it, it really wasn't no beef. It's, it was just more like me just. Did just she come for you, go, or no, did she came she for the for Madison? She, she just came. She was coming for Madison. Oh, that's because not cool. what, I love what happened was her and Madison had the show. Uh, and, oh, they did. Yeah, so I she, seen clips of that. She got oh, bigger shit. than she got bigger than she felt like she was supposed to be bigger than Madison. So. Well, she's not going. Well, hold on now. You can't be, hold on now. You can't be hold on than the, now, because you started to use the obstacle to your opportunity, mm-hmm. but you started to make the obstacle swallow up your opportunity. And that's that's what not. It did. That's not cool. See, and I would love to talk to you about this. Is this uh, fake? I'm bigger than I am. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because we all have that being in the industry. Yeah. Because yeah. we have to. Mm-hmm. I'm a comic. Mm-hmm. You're a rapper mm-hmm. and an entertainer. We're on the same vibe. Yeah, we have to act bigger than we are. We yeah. have to be more. Than I mean, we that's are. what Instagram. That's what Instagram promote anyway. Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. all we're just selling yeah. you the dream. You yeah. have no idea what's behind it or what None of that. glue and spit is holding it together. Yeah. It's you know, and I just feel like with Kaya, there's this third veil that is lifted with her. That I the only thing I don't like because sometimes I ride with her so hard because I like her funny shit like she's funny when she's yeah. cussing somebody out, yeah. but what I don't like is the way it shows her insecurities. What I don't like about you, Kaya, I love you. What I don't like is how you don't deliver when people need you to. Yeah, when you get on a show, you don't deliver, which is to say that you think you're so good that you don't have to work, you don't have to write. Yeah, I could tell she could never say she ever wrote anything. For nah. anything. Nah. I seen her on that rapping show. She didn't write shit. Oh, she yeah. thought she was going to be so good yeah, that but she you wouldn't. Were, they told you to, to write something Bro, fresh. look at me. I write yeah. something to have a conversation with yeah. you. Yeah. They told it's you to write something game. fresh. Yeah. Yeah. And she can, listen, like, Kaya can write. Exactly. Which it just, is she what was I'm just lazy. saying. Just You're, a we lazy see motherfucker, your laziness man. and we're calling you out on <clears> it. Period. Yeah. Point blank. I'm not sitting here and saying you can't. Rip me apart with your shit talking ass. What I'm saying is, can you give me 16 though? 16 clean. Can you give me more bars than that? Yeah. Off the top. Like, yeah. really and truly. She can write though. She can write. She can. See, I, she I, I has. Knew, see, I knew Kaya before Kaya even really, when she was first started rapping, because she used to come up the rock and rod and, and let Do me you feel hear. like the ego got? She, she the really celebrity don't understand. Status. She really don't understand the music business. So and that is and a business. Her ego. Listen, all of these businesses, they have to understand what this is. Yeah. Like people don't understand the business side of it. Nah. It's not about just the talent. You need to be a person that's able to be brought in a room that doesn't piss white people off. And that's the main thing. Period. You don't, you don't, because don't what you don't do understand, that. and I know that you can attest to this, is that. that when you go to do a show, when you go to get your record, when you go to do anything, you're going to look at these crackers. And these crackers don't like to be scared. Mm-mm. These crackers don't do too many hand movements around them. These crackers want to feel comfortable. <laughs> they want to feel close to the gangster. But they don't want to feel affected by it. Uh, of course not. I'm half white. I fucking know. I'm telling you. On yeah. They're checking their facts. Though. They don't want to feel scared. But that, that's why she was. That's why she was. She ended up being blackball. That's too like, bad. When we was going on the road, it was like other uh, record program directors. Um, like we go to Georgia, Carolina. It was like, yo, you from Tampa, right? It's like, man, why don't you talk to Kaya? I was like, man, I can't talk to Kaya, man. Kaya is her own person. Like, listen, after this K Wayne and my neck, my back shit died out. Yeah. That bitch ain't never coming and back. And never. And she hasn't. I'm going to tell you right now, she has not. Because they don't understand, like, they don't understand, like, program directors, they meet up three or four times Yo, a year. Yo, casting directors are friends. <laughs> yeah. Yo, if you be it, Tony, you can say, you've been in auditions before. Yeah. I know at least four. Four casting directors as friends. You get to learn these motherfuckers. Yeah, when yeah. you're in the business for yeah. real, don't let nobody tell you they in the business. They never slated their name. Yeah. They never did an audition. When you're in the business for real, you get to know these crackers. I'm telling you right Listen, fucking now. And you, you cannot. And if you piss one off, you piss oh, them all off. You piss them no. all off because they're going to make no. that call. Hey, man, this motherfucker is an asshole. About- whatever. It is. So all it takes is like word of mouth. So it's soon not your about name the beef on the street. No. Piss off one of these crackers in casting. Yeah, your ass too. Your, your career's ass done. Your career's too. For real, for real. Yeah. So we got to we gotta wrap it up. It's so fun talking to you. I got to bring you back, Tony. Okay. No I got to bring you back because no you're problem. too much fun. Um, Try the scissor. 
I'm gonna try. try, I'm gonna try to I want you to scissor <laughs> someone, and then I want to bring you back and know I'm what you know how it went. I'm gonna try to scissor it's a, tonight. It's a, it's a, so I think that's like the homework for, a, for, for Tony, before you come back. Tony, it's just a. It's like that. Okay. But instead of rubbing, you get the little the meat oh, in there. Okay. It's a side Spider Man. It is. Okay. 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 They like it. Call me if you need me. I'm gonna so, try. I'm gonna try that. I want to get from you. Uh, and then turn. And let her, let her do the leg. Her oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah. let her do the leg. And then have the oh. leg over you. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm telling yeah, you. I don't did that before. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Call the scissors. I don't did that before. Call the scissors. Yeah, I don't did that before. It's a horizontal hunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't okay. did that before. Yeah. I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I try to keep a straight face. On oh, God, that's God. I want to know a a bit of wasted wisdom from you. A bit of wasted wisdom. Please, from Tampa Tony. A bit of wasted wisdom. Um, understanding understanding life. Like, uh, like the I, ebbs and flows. A lot of us don't respect how people are. You know True. what I mean? Like People spend even a lot though, of time trying to change people. Even though... I'm going to give a perfect example. Even though we know Kaya is the way she is, that's how she is. She can't change that because that's how she is. Mm -hmm. So you just have to respect how an individual is and allow them to go through whatever they need to go through to in order for them to change. Let Some go, let God. don't change. Some stay the same. So we just got to respect that. Like A lot of times we have the status quo like, this is how everybody's supposed to be. This is how a relationship is supposed to be. That's the way we were raised. Yeah. That's the way we was raised. And those that's are generational curses. That's the only thing curses. that we know. Right. And, those, and that's, those are what I call generational curses. Thank you. they have been put on us. Their mother, Message. mother, 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 Say mother, Say it again. Mother. Say it again. Generational Thank curses. Thank you. Yes. What will you leave in your wake? It's so mm. true. Gen it's yeah. this domino effect of toxicity yeah. that we need to break. We have to break with, that. Wherein it's the way that we deal with things. Yeah. It's the way that we love. Yep. The things that we've been taught. Even something as simple as like my post earlier. That one hit wonder. Mm -hmm. He's a mine. He might be doing you, but he's thinking about me. <laughs> and it's like it already indoctrinated me mm -hmm. to know that. If I ever found true love, bitch, you better know how to fight. Yeah. Did you go have to fight for it? Yeah. Another light skinned bitch with bluer eyes who sucks more dick than you. Yeah. You got to fight this bitch. And I just it's it's such a such a learned thing. Yeah, you gotta learn it. I mean like Like the way you see love is the yeah. way that you perceive But 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 it. I'm saying like every like people try to force things. Yes, and it's not about forcing it. It's, like, it's it's allowing it to be natural. Yes, you know what I mean. So like, I stopped trying to change yeah. people a long time ago. You can't do that because that's it's not, not going to work. The thing it's not going to work. Actually, it's only going to work minimum, is, and then they're going to go back to the who they were. Exactly. But what is more beneficial mm -hmm. is you changing yourself. That's it, and not in the way where it hurts you. No, it change yourself for the better. Right. But if if you and a partner can sit down because communication is key in whatever Very relationship much. it is. Very much. If you and a partner can sit down and explain to each other why this is like this, I'm like this, and I can't help that. You know what I mean? Why the fuck you always leave the toilet seat up? I can't help that. Right. I was raised as a child. I've been leaving this shit up since then. Right. And I'm too old. I've been doing it 30-some years. How you think I'm going to change in a year? That's fair. You see what I'm saying? That's this fair. is me. This, who, this you got to take my baggage. That's true. It, it is about baggage. Baggage is super important, and it's it, love at its purest form. Don't see and that. The, love as it, at its purest form. But what it really means as an adult to love someone is to tolerate them. What can I tolerate? Whatever. What can I deal with? Yeah. I love your waste of wisdom for this week. I really appreciate you for giving it. Where can my people find you? I am Tampa Tony, every social media platform. Literally type 
Tampa Tony into anything, all his shit will come up. Yeah, I everything. did it earlier. Even songs that I don't even sing come up. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> like, I don't They're sing. Like, listen, I do not Did you do City sing, Boys? No, I exactly. do not do City Boys. Boy. I do not sing Take It Back Ho. That's not my That's record. That's what nobody said. That is not my record. That is the underdogs. City Boys by I'm Tom dead. G. I'm dead. I'm dead. You guys, uh, you already know where you can find me. I gave you some wasted wisdom earlier. Uh, here's some wasted wisdom. When I was wasted, I learned this. When I'm wasted, you guys know you can find me with the dogs or the kids. I didn't want to play with the dogs, so I was with the kids this night when I learned this. And this is, I am this many years old. Um, the years old where kids start playing with your elbow skin. <laughs> <laughs> This fucking bitch started playing with my elbow skin in this state, and I was like, I'm this many years old. I'm 34, bitch! <laughs> I'm better than 40! Ah, uh, y'all know where the fuck you can find this Dorito ho, purple pack, blunt slut, bitch in your butt. Uh, on Instagram, at freaking Jurican. Follow Flow Higher Radio for all of our lives, and um, be ready for our new merch coming up. Please follow. And type in Tampa Bay Tony to any web browser or uh, Google Music and download Keep Joking, You Look At, because it's um, something I fuck to. We have had a great <laughs> episode. I thank you all for listening. Follow Tampa Bay Tony, and thank you. We'll see you next week. Ow. Like a fastball, you don't want to be caught up.